Hi guys, this is Toasty and welcome to another one of my Sims 4 speed builds. Okay, this time we are doing going to build something that I'm actually quite proud of. Yay! Um, I am building a building that started off, I started off trying to do build a Victorian townhouse type of builds. Um, as you can see here, everything's quite traditional looking with all wooden structure. Well, the end of it will still stay as a wooden structure, but I added more modern influences. So it's more of my, um, I call it the modern woodsman. And it has loads of um, modern architectural design to it. So it doesn't look quite traditional, but it has very organic look to it so that's where the woodsman part comes from and i really like the way it looks it looks like some it looks like a building that i would actually live in in real life um yeah i started off as you can see there's loads of um roofing that's where i changed everything i tried to add elements to it that doesn't look too normal looking i was going to make it look quite like the houses next to it because i built it in newcrest one of the mid-range affluent kind of um kind of like um i think middle class type of ink um neighborhoods even though i don't think any of the things world really have a sort of like a rundown area but this is a sort of like slightly bit better looking area so all the houses have a bit more um architectural features but um, yeah, I chosen to do something a little bit different because halfway along I figured the roofing because all it extended from the roofing. The roof looked kind of bit terrible when I first started off when I tried to incorporate the Victorian house element to it. But afterwards when I lay down all the roof tile, especially this bit, as you can see, I'm trying to add another kind of element to the side so it doesn't look too boring. And then I decided to add that piece of roof piece down on the floor and merge it with the upper roof so it makes a ginormous kind of a um, roofing side that comes all the way down, which I really liked. Um, it's always been one of my dreams to have a um, I don't know what they called. I think they called the A Lion House. You know those gigantic house with looks like a giant A shape, with um the roof go the way all the way like down onto the floor, covering the whole entire house. Those houses that you tend to see them in more of a winter environment, like in the Alps, so that when you have snowfall on these houses, the snow would just immediately fall down and not. Um, lay on top of the roof and because that means that the roof will have too much weight on them and usually the roof will collapse because the weight of the snow so you tend to get these housing in more wintry climates like in the Alps etc so yeah I did that and I was really I love the way that how the roof is just like so asymmetrical and that's where uh, most of the design just kind of um, stem from that I used a lot of these iron fences at the side um you might find it a little bit weird um but i don't find it weird because i'm i used to well i was born in i was born in shanghai so we never had houses in that sort of area we all had apartment buildings so and to deter burglars and stuff burglaries because we had balconies and stuff so they used to build these like um iron sort of rustic iron cages like kind of um thing to go around balconies so that the burglars won't be able to climb inside your balconies so that's sort of where the idea of iron fencing comes from it might look a bit weird but once you get the colors in it will it doesn't actually look that terrible it just adds a more element i mean if you want to change it up once you download it you can always add in i was kind of imagine climbing plants etc to make it more and make it more, look more lively. Also, I had a lot of difficulty trying to deal with the roofing. Oh my God, things for the way the roofing works. It just doesn't make any sense to me. It just, I don't know, understand because it just cuts away. Once you have some sort of like, I know you're trying to think that you're 
trying to like but when you have a different like room on top of it and then you put the roof thing for some reason the roof just cuts into the floor plan and no matter how i change the rooming system around and i mean i change it up so many times trying to make sure that room works you can see you can see here now i'm just messing about just trying to make sure that the roof doesn't cut in my house but it just doesn't work it just won't ever ah oh, I, I had so much trouble this is the best i can do so i ended up having one of the rooms i just made it into some sort of like a storage area because it just doesn't look right enough to use it as any sort of room but if you want to you can the room is still usable even though that it's kind of a bit messed up with the roofing you can always add in like a nursery or a small bedroom for a child etc it will look quite good also another detail i really like is that um i added all these shelves it looks as if um it looks like these panels extended from windows i did that to all the windows none of them none of the windows have any blinds to them so these are um there's some you know if you know notice like some modern builds like real life architecture wise they have automatic sort of like um blinds that outside of buildings that kind of closes automatically when the sun shines under a certain angle so it's just to make sure that the building is not using up um, too much electricity using using up like air conditioning etc it's really popular nowadays with public buildings like um and libraries etc i've seen uh, these building with these automatic um, Venetian blinds outside those are the most common ones um, but there are some buildings that they have fixed blinds they just sticks them out and they won't um, they are not automatically like closable but because the way that they stick out so when the sun is at a certain angle and it shines down the highest point it will just create a natural shade and that in itself it's a natural regulator of like a building temperature this is like really popular amongst um, environmentally conscious builds which i kind of envision this building to be kind of um it's really environmentally conscious it has kind of uh, self-sufficiency so the roof i use these shiny metal uh, material for roofing i cannot imagine it to be solar pan um, powered like in built solar panels because it has so much roof and pitched roof very pitched roof that will make it very good to catch sunlight um solar power it's very advanced nowadays there is a whole um i read it read it up recently that um a chinese company has managed to make window panels solar powered so they are like clear windows and glass panels um that's what i really meant is glass panels on the windows not really window panels but they are solar powered which means that if you have a high-rise building you have these windows it will completely be used as solar panels and it will not take up like extra features on the building it will look very natural you look you just don't have like these um solar panels on top of a building which sometimes will interfere with the aesthetic of a building a little bit that's really clever i think i think if you can if your country kind of has a good enough um like a solar source everyone should have some sort of um solar panel to make it more um environmentally environmentally friendly and also the fact even if you don't i mean some people don't like to think too much about all the inconvenience if you just think about the time um the amount of money you will save from having solar powered um the well where i live to here a government has a scheme in which that if you get solar panels they will pay a certain percentage to the installation also if you make enough power in your house you can feed it back to the grid and they will pay you back so even though the inverse investment of solar power is quite expensive but in the if you have enough money to pay for the initial investment it actually pays off quite quite pretty nice afterwards okay do i am trying to hear what am i doing yeah i'm trying i'm still messing about with the all these roofs 
oh it's giving me so much trouble having so much issues and also as you can see there's nothing you can do about the cutaway the way that it looks because i placed that roof on the floor of the first floor it just the way that seems wax it just looks like this I've done as much as I can to make it look less annoying. I did, um, I think it's about now that I start, yeah, I made it a separate room there that I cut it off. I did make, a, I did put a door there. So as if you go in live mode, you won't be able to go in the door because I block it off with other items. But if you think about it in terms of unrealistic, like if you live in this house, it's probably a kind of a tiny storage area when you put all your shoes or the other knickknacks you have. So you don't, I mean, the things won't be able to access it, but in terms of realistic looking, it look pretty good, I think. Okay, I think I'm pretty much done with the outside. This is on a very small lot um, and it's what I do best. I enjoy building small lots aside from bigger lots. So I didn't do much um, landscaping at all. To be honest, I'm not very good at landscaping. I always pull it off, like most of my builds. My last build is like probably one of the bigger landscaping. I mean, the biggest landscaping I've done for quite some time. I enjoy building buildings and interior designing. I just landscaping is just not something I do very often and do very successfully. I mean, the last build was okay, but I did play with that build quite a lot and I found the landscape I did over there wasn't exactly it didn't look great in live more it didn't make quite it didn't make any sense yeah you can see i put a door there you can't access it because it's blocked off by all the other knickknacks i put in front of it but it does look genuine quite realistic you can see that as a sort of like a cloak room inside when you could put just random stuff and this is quite a compact design and i put really like um compact kitchens and everything like the it's what I do best a very open floor plan for the bottom floor and the second floor it has more room design to it it's something it's kind of like a signature of what I do I love open living if I can if I have my own house I actually would imagine me living inside this house it's something it did this build I really enjoy this build because it does look like something that I will actually you know use in real life unlike some other builds I do just like um I don't think I'm ever going to live in something like this this is closer to what I was imagining if I had money and yeah obviously I've had money and I was sort of like um the means to build my own house which is probably going to be one of my one of my this ultimate dreams I have I'm obsessed I don't know if you guys watch this show it's got grand grand design I'm obsessed with grand design I just love the fact that I mean anyone who has this idea of being like build your own house and to orders I mean sometimes the stuff in grand design I see are just bonkers I mean this one person who built this house he spent like I don't know how much they spent like half a million pounds to build this giant house next to a cliff that's been eroding away from erosion because the cliff is built on sort of like a really really um soluble like limestone structure so with the cliff with um um the ocean slapping onto the cliff so every year about how many meters like two three meters of the cliff gets like eroded away and that's like your house and people calculated by 20 years his house will be like in the ocean and that guy still built a house and i just can't believe that somebody will be like why are you building a house there? It's just crazy, unbelievable things that people do in ground design. But at some point, sometimes I just think about these things. I like, this is, I mean, you only live once. Might as well make a mark. And what better than build a building, something that's kind of the most, I see it as like the essence of your own self, be able to build a house, your own dwelling up like, you made it with your own so everything is up to your own like what you like in life it's like the ultimate expression of yourself <laughs> i don't know if that actually made any sense but it kind of makes sense in my mind so yeah um if i can in the future if i make enough money in life um i would absolutely love to build my own house it doesn't need to be like a giant mansion or even a big house i would be really content if it's just a small kind of um space but it's just something that i'm 
something that I will live really happily in. Um, I don't even mind. I've, I've been looking up loads of like designs on the small house movement. It's kind of a, uh, it's kind of a kind of movement when people have just like very small housing when it's just essential. It's really nice. It's something that I kind of quite admire people do. Um, I, I don't need a very big house. I mean, think about it. Like what is most essential in a house? just somewhere that you can eat somewhere you can sleep somewhere that you can just enjoy and the people in your life that's basically essentially what i needed in my life so i i wouldn't even actually mind if i had a very small living space but it's completely built up to my exactly what my idea of my house is going to be okay enough with me and my kind of imaginary house um here in the build i am building i made a really like cutesy i kind of looked at the living space i found it's too blocky and there's not enough interesting ideas so i sunk in the living room a little bit so i made it kind of like a sunken in and tatami room i really like the idea of having sort of like a relaxation space within a living room it's kind of like um even with open plan space it's quite nice to have some place that's kind of um blocked away from the all the other uh, other spaces so imagine if you have a house uh, like this um it's quite nice you have these blinds and just um not temporary structures where you can just block off a room so you make it more intimate I find that quite interesting also if you're building a kind of like a scenes build it will look pretty good when you go into live mode and you want to take photographs it's quite nice you have more elements of varying degrees of heights and um, um higher higher floor and the lower floor plan to just make it more interesting that's why oh the moment that when scenes gave us half half um half walls that's the moment when i'm just like oh my god thank you so much of giving us more um, ways of like varying varying inches in a room otherwise it will just be very one-dimensional like one height and nobody wants that it just doesn't look very interesting um yeah and here i am just making more it's very small space so i try to um adding more areas that i think will do quite well to um, for a family i mean family needs some sort of entertainment area um, I did it was a one bedroom house but it has has the potential to be a two bedroom house um one of the rooms as I said before I it was one of those problematic rooms with roofing that cuts into it so I didn't exactly make it into the bedroom I left it um as a storage area but it could be easily turned into a bedroom if you just delete the stuff I put inside and you just put a bed in there it will be completely usable as a bedroom for a child so um, potentially it could be a family room for three three to four things but so far in my in my mind it's like um uh it's a new newly wed maybe a family that just contend with two members or maybe just the one bachelor lives here i didn't it's not strictly masculine but it's not really feminine either so i kind of got went for a neutral kind of um tone when it comes to decorating the room and yeah that's the tiny dining area i did there it's all usable and i wanted to add more elements of um kind of um environmental conscience so i'm kind of um thinking this sim is going to be somebody who cares about the environment because it has all the features when in, they installed the, the automatic blind system and also the solar panel roof so they probably think about how to like save money so they probably gonna have these plants in house that's um like herbs on them so you does not have to go out and buy loads of like a pre-made herbs so we'll have little garden growing in the backyard so all these like little like um interest that in my mind i'm just thinking about like, what my things will be like it's kind of like giving i quite like the fact that you give a little bit of a personality to a scene when when you're building a house so that you don't you have a coherent kind of idea when it comes to decorating and sort of a coherent sort of um you know for what sort of item will make sense obviously when you download any of these houses you can just completely make it into anything you would like and that's the beauty of scenes that once you download anyone's build you can just 
edit it as however you would like to edit it and change it up as you see fit. Um, yeah, I really enjoy this build. This is like one of my, I think it's one of my most favorite ones. Out of all my builds, there's like three. If you go on my gallery, there's um, there's two more builds that I really like. There's one of them called Organic Delight, which is a sort of like um, my idea of a tiny build, tiny house movement type of build, which it's completely for a very organic rustic living scene that's one of my ma most favorite builds aside from this one and also another one that I really love it's oh god I can't remember what's it called I think it's called um um uh, modern kind of mid-century modern build I think that's what it's called but it was one of those really weird also like um, brown color builds but with more of a mid-century modern kind of um take on it I can't really remember. I need to go and look up what I've built. I built it so long ago. I think I built it about at least six months ago. And anyway, I use um I'm trying to fill it up with enough spaces that kind of with items that um make sense. I use quite a lot of stuff from get to work pack. Um I just felt I really like the colour arrangement of the get to work because it has that sort of like um kind of a aqua but not quite kind of yeah sort of like um military kind of green color and i really like that color it's it reminds me so much and as i said like um was born in shanghai we had these um a lot of the building had these um metal frames to if i remember correctly these are metal framed windows that has that same color that sort of mid-century kind of color because all the buildings like apartment building were built around the, the sort of time period so they had a sort of like decoration it just brings back so much memory of my childhood um and yeah it's, they're not like great windows i mean it leaked a lot of lot of like airing it's not like double grazing or triple grazing it's very poorly and insulated but it just have that distinctive look to it if i have a house i would absolutely love to have that sort of um color scheme going on outside um i don't know i think i missed its part this when you go to if you download the house or maybe when you look at it when it's um in the um what's it called screen cap mode when i have the screen screen caps screen caps no it's not screen, screen caps it's good i'm um, print screen oh no it's um when we have these pictures anyway when you have the look when i have these like um um pictures i've taken of the builds um there will be these um in on balconies you will see me trying to build a lot of um kind of like railings on top i'm kind of trying to mimic Maybe because on the apartment buildings back, also like back in China, on the apartment buildings, they had these, um, we put these bamboo rods um, out of these apartments. So you have, oh, I don't know how to explain this. It's basically like washing lines, but made of bamboo sticks. And we have these. <laughs> I'm trying to explain anybody like anyone that who's never seen them before probably have a really hard time and just like imagining their head but you know, it's like when you have balcony you have limited spaces you have these really small apartments so you want some place you have these tiny balconies that you want to use up space to like um where do you like dry your clothes because we didn't have these dryer tumble dryers I mean didn't even have washing machine back then so tumble dryer is out of the question so if you want to dry your clothes you have to air dry it so um, we don't have space there's no garden you can't dry on the like pavement outside that's just ridiculous so you have balcony so you we build these like um uh, metal kind of rod structure that out from the balconies and you put bamboo stick really long bamboo stick. i'm talking about like um four meter long bamboo sticks on like two to four meter long bamboo stick which just sticks like um like outside of the balcony and you can put your washing onto the bamboo stick and it will just air dry it like that yeah you can see and now here that i'm trying to add these um uh these 
because there is no actual like closing item this is the closest i can get to like a closing item i'm trying to add them on top of these um rod thing that i create like created so it looks as if you are air drying your clothes on these closing lines if that made any sense at all <laughs> i just thought it's like it's a it's a very weird idea. Just I just thought about it just then. I was like, oh, maybe I should try this and see if it actually works. But it worked. And it was fine. I, I went to live mode, took some photographs. It looks completely okay. It looks very realistic. Well, um, yeah, I tried to do that there, but it didn't actually make any sense. So I deleted that because it, because nobody has these Bumble ratings that lower down. So I just made it into sort of like a generic kind of, kind of a, uh, what's it called um green box with um nice like box of plants there so it looks like oh it's like a box of plants and it looks quite nice if you sit in the living room want to take a photograph on the outside and see these nice um box of plants outside it's just some sort of like idea like on my build i'm trying to give it more of a i like um interesting kind of um details architectural details outside so it looks more realistic um, any like simple house, you will always have that sort of like interesting details if you want to look in um, realistic details. And Sims is a very, f um, in when in Sims, when you're trying to like build any buildings, everything looks a tad bit too one dimensional and too flat looking, which is not something I like to. I just don't really like the fact that if you make wall, the wall is very flat and there is no entirely flat wall when you build a house it just doesn't happen there will be crevices there will be some structure that sticks out there will be like gut gutter rails and other um, little bit of details going on so in real life it just doesn't happen and it seems you don't have that sort of individual items to make it more realistic looking so i'm just trying to give it more of a personality okay this is when i started to like um give it uh, using a bit more of a weird i don't know these are supposed to be like stuff you put in jails like jail wall <laughs> jail panels but i thought they looked quite good as sort of um sort of like add-on railing but not quite railings because if i added anything kind of half or more structures in there it just mess it will just mess up the roofing royally mess it up and i don't it just i took so long trying to get the roofing as the way it is i don't just don't really want to mess it up anymore so i look through our items and remember that actually we have these like metal kind of panel thing that kind of looks okay it looks as if sort of like um semi fencing that thing that I kind of imagine you can have in a room that sort of you want to block off a space to make it more intimate but not so intimate to us like like a huge wall there that because it's such a small space you have a wall here it will be just too much or just block off too much so I made it so it looks like it's like a semi small kind of um office area um it will be perfect it has loads of um stuff from the get to work pack so it will look kind of pretty good as an office for a um sim in a kind of law enforcement career path or even a sim that's in the it environment um, path a scientist or any of that sort i thought that would look pretty good yeah um as you see before there was a spare rune i just put dresses in there that's the rune that you are able to maybe change it into a a single bedroom or a nursery or a any sort of like activity room if you don't want it to be a kind of um i, I saw it as a sort of like a wardrobe like um house family wardrobe when you have all sorts of like stuff in there you all your extra clothes you just sticking into that room in real life just because the roof the way the roof works it just looks so bad the roof just went all the way cutting halfway into the room and it just didn't look too good as a room on its own so i just use it as sort of like um like um sort of room you just like use it as um kind of like a throwaway room that's for decor reasons and less about the function but it's so functionable if you want to use it sort of like a dresser area it has two dresses and an, a display case where you can put anything you want in there like all the stuff your seams has gotten from careers like when they um you know these trophies they have when they increase in the career path etc and yeah i think i'm just close to the end i think i just did a little bit of um a tiny bit of um 
kind of um, landscaping I don't want it to be too complicated there's not that much space for complicated landscaping anyway I added yes I added a small patio area outside because I thought it's kind of cute to have a little um, barbecue area because we in I think we in Oasis Springs and Oasis Springs is kind of like the typical suburban kind of um, suburban like housing area you get and um, you don't really get that often in the UK but I imagine in America you have these loads of these suburban area suburban area when you just have families and we imagine everyone probably had a barbecue area somewhere I mean barbecue is just great I would love to have barbecue but barbecue is just not a very often things you have near London area so I imagine like <laughs> living in America you gonna get have something like that and that's where I put, I decided to put a little bit of sculpture in front in fact you could it'd be quite nice if you had a thing that's kind of like a sculptor that'd be quite interesting and it would be like designing sculptures and yeah I think that's pretty much it for this build and I hope you guys will download it and let me know how it goes like if you enjoy playing around in there and um, if there any like a suggestion you would like to make of um, what sort of house you want me to maybe make next time let me know yeah and um, I hope my commentary has getting a little bit improved it's still a bit uncomfortable talking into a microphone for such a long time but I guess it's something like all things in life you just improve the more you do isn't it um yeah and this time I'm oh yeah I did adding more lighting lighting um after I did everything because I thought just it's just I, I either add all the lighting at the beginning of the build or I just straight up do it at the end just want to get it over with um there's not enough light different I would love to have different lights um, that's where I think that I need to buy more packs I'm waiting for another sales of same sales so I can buy more um, packs so I can have more things to do I'm getting a bit bored with all the same items but at the same time it's like it's quite it's quite a different types of challenge you have when you have very limited items in Sims. I don't use any um, custom content not because I don't want to I love constant content I when I play my normal game I use quite a lot I just don't use more in the sort of like uh, interior design area I use it more to like uh, make my scene look more individualized so I use a lot of custom content when it's come to like hairstyles skin tar styles and clothing items I don't tend to use a lot of like uh, an interior design like um, item wise um yeah it's not because I don't want to just sometimes some item just doesn't work like it's broken and it mess up the gameplay a little bit I'm and I don't want to lose some of my some of my really how houses and then it just takes a really a long time to get loads of stuff sorted so yeah that's why I don't really use constant content custom that uh, custom content can't even speak <laughs> it's because I'm talking for too long I need to actually um, drink whilst I talk for such a long time I'm having really dry throat okay I think that's that's pretty much right that's pretty much the end and here's some screenshots of my build yeah I hope you guys all enjoy this build and uh, it's one of my favorites that I've ever done and I'm really proud of this and um, do let me know what you think and really thank you so much if you have watched all the way through this speed build thank you so much I hope I'll see you guys all next time bye